armchair artist here. Today we're going to paint these three beautiful peacock butterflies on a daisy type plant. Okay, to start off with, I select a pussy horrible coloured background, but it's better than the white uh, that glares in my eyes and uh, tends to give them a bit of eye strain. It's the only problem with this digital painting. The next thing I do is paint a daisy in the bottom left hand corner, colour it in with a bit of blue and do a centre on it just to see um, how it looks. It looks okay so the next thing to do is do a copy and paste job and copy and paste it to see how another one looks at the side of it. Um, I want the plant that they're going on to look oval so the two on the left look as if they're one on top of the other almost but the one on the right I've tilted it slightly so that it looks as if you're viewing it from the side view so that's my plan so that when I populate the plant uh, shortly you'll see that it gives it a rounded effect because I can copy and paste uh, various flowers um, to the left or the right and turn them round. One of the beauties of actually doing something in a digital form. So having done a couple of flowers the next thing to do was to copy and paste each one and they all go on a separate layer so it means that you can move them about. You can also see that I'm doing a flower at the top which is partly opened and that's to give it a bit of variety and again I'll do the same thing that once that is painted I'll copy and paste it in various positions and I'll also uh, do some buds and you'll see some buds appearing as well uh, in various places to build up some form of the flower. So now you'll see uh, after populating the uh, plant with various flowers I put in a centre stalk and then put in some more buds and a few small leaves and give it an impression of being a plant. Um, I put quite a few leaves on and uh, it soon starts to look very much like a proper plant. You'll also see that on the centre stalk of the stem as it goes up if you look about halfway you can see that it's light on the left and dark on the right and that gives it a cylindrical form and I use the same method for all of the stalk and basically all of the leaves. You'll be able to see that there's a dark line down the centre. Well it isn't so much of a dark line as the actual each side. I've taken the grunge brush with a, a light, very light blue colour and I've taken that down each side of the leaf and by doing that I leave a dark line in the centre um, and then it gives the whole thing uh, a look of a leaf and uh, where the sun might be hitting it I'll put an even lighter colour uh, to give it a bit more of an illusion. Once I was happy with the, the flower or the plant I decided to tackle the background. I wanted to look, make it look like there was more than one plant so I just did a bit of smudging in and then I copied and pasted the plants and put them on put a couple of them on separate layers and altered the opacity so that when you look at it it looks as if there's several plants that the butterflies are actually settled on. Right now it's time to put the butterflies in so the first thing I do is take my reference pictures put them onto the painting and draw around them and that gives me the shape because the last thing I want to be doing is trying to spend all day trying to draw the actual shape of a butterfly. Here you can see that I'm now doing the top butterfly I've got the back wing in and now I'm doing the front wing um, and this takes quite a while to do um, but it's it's reasonably simple digitally because if you make a mistake you can rub it out and start again because this butterfly is on a separate layer so it makes it easier. Right now I'm going to tackle the bottom butterfly. Um, I'm sorry that you can't see all of it. Um, it's just this format that I'm painting in. I'm doing the paintings 
the next two or three paintings in this A4 format because I want I'm doing a series of four butterfly paintings and I want them all to be in the same frames and I bought four A4 frames with mounts for them to sit in so apologies if you can't see this uh, me doing this bottom butterfly um, but I think you'll get the gist of it and shortly I'll be moving on to the middle butterfly and you can see how that comes together a lot easier right now I'm going to move on to the middle butterfly and you'll see I use a reference photograph so that once again I can just draw around it quickly I'm only drawing half a wing because I'm only going to do half of it um, and once I've painted the one half I'm going to copy and paste it and then invert it and put it next to the other wing so I'll have a left wing and a right wing and they'll both look the same um, it makes life a lot easier if there are any uh, traditional painters watching this and they think that it's cheating to be doing all this copy and pasting um, I don't believe it is um, I'm trying to create an image and you could bet your bottom dollar if the old masters that have had this technology at their fingertips they'd have been copying pasting stuff all over the place so I make no apologies for doing it I painted one wing I'm just making life easier by moving it over so that I make it look as if I've got done both it's my painting my image it isn't a problem to me and here you can see the other wing uh, going into place enjoyed me doing this painting if you did please like and subscribe and uh, I look forward to showing you the fourth one in the butterfly series very soon here's the image um, finished I'll leave you with that thanks very much for watching see you again soon